All right. So on those same lines, when we bring insights, we have these machine, lear machine learning based recommendations in access reviews. This is to reduce what we call reviewer fatigue. So how many of you may, might have received a lot of review emails with, that you need to uh, take care of? Um, and then there's the risk of that reviewer fatigue that you just approve automatically because it, there's a lot to, to approve for. Bringing those insights and surfacing all those things that you, that may not be obvious to you as a reviewer, then will allow you to to you know to be much more efficient when you are certifying access. Um, we have this specific uh, algorithm that we have released just now that is the user to group affiliation, and it is basically looking at how far the requester is from um, you know in, in the in the in the organizational um, a structure uh, and and that distance calculating the group affiliation with with the the, the 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 access package or whatever it is that they are trying to get access to and if it is if it has a low affiliation then that will be surfacing into the my access portal review user interface where the reviewer will be able to see that and in, and then of course they can do things like bulk approval and things like that like yes i i agree with the recommendations then i will approve or i will re review review further a specific access and then i will approve or deny I, I like to call this the sam smith or common name problem if you've ever been in a large organization right there are people with common names Somebody may have requested to add Sam Smith to a group and they picked the wrong Sam Smith. It could go on for a long period of time where people don't realize that was the wrong person, right? Because that request was, was done a while ago, right? How do we highlight something may not be correct? And that's exactly what this is to do. We want to be able to highlight these insights about the affiliation of the members of the group. If there's something that doesn't match or using that machine learning, we want to elevate that and make it part of that recommendation. Hey, reviewer, you should be aware of this when you're making your decision. So it's not a, uh, we're going to solve every challenge because somebody can still approve, but we want to inform and help guide them to make a recommended path. So that's the key thing here.